Good afternoon. I am here to present for group one about technology and history, how the two can work together to benefit today's students. Group members are Amy Quessenberry, Cole Shepard, Nancy Claudio, and Justin Sturgill. All members have participated in providing information on how they use technology in the classroom to teach history or have also talked to other teachers that they work with to find ideas of how these other teachers use technology as well. I'll begin with a little personal story. Um, I'm actually in Orlando, Florida right now and arrived last night only to find out that the Hilton Hotel that I'm staying in does not offer free wireless um, internet service in any of its locations. You um, Even in the lobby they don't offer it. Um, you do have to pay to use it in the room and when you pay you only are allowed to use it on one device. Um, my mother and I were very um, upset about this due to the fact that we are both teachers and we both have two laptops and iPads and devices that we would like to use while we are here to get some work done. But I was also just very surprised that even we were in 2012 and, and they did not offer free wireless even in the lobby of the hotel. <laughs> but anyway, um, so that goes right along with our topic today. Students of today's generation are constantly um, using technology, they are updating, they are talking with friends all day long. and. It's just, it was very funny to me that even the, a nice hotel like the Hilton would not offer that. So our topic today is technology and history, how the two can work together to benefit today's students. As teachers of today's generation, we are very excited to talk to you about how to use technology to bring history alive for your students. There are many options and tools for all ages to teach about the past. Students today have access to anything they want on the internet. They are focused on fast information gained through smartphones, iPads, internet, and all other devices that they may carry with them throughout the day. At the elementary level, there are many websites that, be, that can be used to bring historical events and figures to life. Brain Pop Jr. is a great resource that I use all the time at the elementary level. It has short teaching videos on famous Americans, economics, and other standards-based content in the area of social studies. Each video has two quizzes at the end that the student can take as a group or individually to see if they have mastered the content. The two quizzes are also varied by difficulty and has a read aloud function so the questions can be read to the student. This website also includes many educational games as well on a variety of topics. Another way to use technology for younger children are websites with read aloud stories and videos. For example, if a third grade class is learning about the Titanic, there are several appropriate YouTube videos to show pictures of the ship and the wreckage along with the music that was played on the Titanic. This makes the event truly come to life for the children. I actually teach third grade and we do a Titanic unit in our language arts block. Um, we also do a lot of connections between our language arts and our social studies. I did use Titanic videos from YouTube this um, past year. Um, I will advise, however, to watch the entire video before you present it to students, no matter what age they are. Um, anything you find online, you must watch it all the way through. I cannot stress that enough to make sure that it's appropriate and so that no issues will arise after it's shown. Um, in the elementary school, we also have to have parent permission to show videos that are above a G rating. Okay. At the middle and high school level, there are so many devices students can use independently to understand historical events. Some examples of ideas that can be used on an iPad or iPod include Hinge, Strip Designer, Comic Life, Air Video, and Evernote. I hope that you all will take a minute to look at each of these on your own device. Hinge is an app that allows teachers to develop their own comprehension questions on any topic they choose. The student's answer will show his or her level of understanding, not a right or wrong answer. So this um, app actually has leveled um, choices of how a student will answer. The student may give a very simple answer, the student may give an intricate answer, and the teacher it's not a right or wrong answer, but they can decide that 
student's own level of comprehension and it will be different for each student. Strip Designer and Comic Life allow students to create their own comic strips depicting historical events. Creating comic strips has been around for a while on paper, but this is a very cool way to do it on the screen, on a smart board, on their own computer, and I'm sure that they would really enjoy that. Air Video is an app that allows students to watch historical videos. Evernote is an app where students can independently take notes and then they can sync their notes to share with others. Air Video and Evernote are ways to have kids sync together and watch the same thing on various devices. There are several, several websites that would bring technology into the classroom for history teachers. GlobalEducation.ning.com is a great source for virtual team teaching. This is where actual teachers can connect online and share ideas and also work class to class together on projects. BlackClassroomProjects.ning.com is for grades 6 through 12 and allows teachers and students to share lessons with other students studying the same topic www.thwt.org, which stands for Teaching History with Technology, is a wonderful resource for teachers. This site is full of lesson plans for history classes. And I'm sure there are many other sites and tools out there that we all can research and find out about. Teachers use technology every day in all subject areas. It's the way our world works these days. The key is to make it student driven and student accessible. Blackboards, smartboards, historical films, and online web resources are all tools that we use daily. Though some of the ideas we have shared today, or through some of the ideas we have shared today, along with what you may already use, we hope that you can bring history to life for your students. Thank you so much.